Okay, Randy, in honor of 20,000 downloads, I agree it's time for a toast, but why are you pouring Blue Nun? Not to worry, it will all make sense very soon. May I suggest you have a little Blue Nun at your schmuggers board? Oh, I don't think she'd have a very good time. Besides, it's going to be all couples. I'm Steve McClellan. And I'm Randy Hodgins, and my drink of choice today is inspired by Jerry Stiller and Ann Mira, better known as Stiller and Mira, a couple who managed the rarest show business feat of all, staying happily married for over 60 years while becoming true legends of comedy. Stiller and Mira were both born in New York, Jerry in 1927 and Ann in 1929. They met in Chicago, where both were members of the Compass Players, the precursor to the legendary Second City Improv Troupe. Their playful bickering was an audience favorite. As one biographer notes, they were Nichols and May, without the acid, and with warmth. In 1961, they left Compass to work as a duo, and soon struck pay dirt with the 1963 album presenting America's new comedy sensations. Well, I thought I needed a lot of suds to get the grit, grease, and grime out of my husband's filthy shirt. Perfunctorily wrong! Crash the overall detergent removes grease and grime without oversudsing and causing clogged machines! You can stop now. My husband just left. Sweetheart! Darling! <laughs> From there, Stiller and Mira became mainstays on TV talk and variety shows, with numerous appearances on Johnny Carson's Tonight Show and almost 40 spots on The Ed Sullivan Show. One of those shows featured their classic routine about a Jewish and Catholic wedding. My father's a Jewish bagel baker. Your father's an Irish policeman. It's not important. The important thing is we love each other. Are you kidding? You'll see. The families will get together. I'll win your mother over. I'll, I'll grab her and, and kiss her. I'll say, Mrs. Horowitz, I love you. You make the best Meshuggah ball soup in the world. Matzo ball soup. Yeah, matzo yeah, ball. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in 1970, while they were at the height of their initial fame, they broke up the act fearing that their comic bickering on stage was hurting their marriage. So instead, they turned to building individual careers with great success, including Mira's turn as a cook on Archie Bunker's place, and Stiller's long run as George Costanza's father on Seinfeld. Eventually, they began reprising their duo act. While a 1986 Stiller and Mira sitcom failed to launch, they made periodic appearances on other shows, including several on the sitcom The King of Queens, it was instantly clear that the old magic was still intact. So, uh, what's this I hear about uh, you selling a cemetery plot? Because uh, I haven't made any arrangements for myself yet. Right. <laughs> Have you considered burial at sea? It's all the rage. Stiller and Mirror remained active until her death in 2015. Jerry Stiller passed away in 2020, but their comedy legacy continues in their children, comedians Amy and Ben Stiller. You can find out more about Stiller and Mira and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.